Hey everyone, Rogue Guild here, and today I want to discuss the contents on the roadmap that we got the other day at the Ubisoft Forward event that basically outlines the rest of the content that we're going to get for this game for the rest of 2020. It outlines everything up until December, but beyond that, I also want to talk about what this kind of confirms as far as things we heard in the past with leaks, and what that really shows us is going to happen with this game in next year, as well as the future of the franchise regarding potentially Division 3. So before we get too far into it, I will warn this video will contain full Spoilers for what those leaks back of the TU-10 PTS contained. It details the plots and the endings of seasons 3 and 4 and potentially some other stuff. So if you haven't read that and you want to know what that all is, then you might not want to watch this video. But if you have, I recommend sticking around because this really could tell us what is coming in the future. All right, well, to those of you who are still here, let's take a look at this roadmap that they did give us at the Ubisoft Ford event. Clearly, you can see everything that's lined up all the way to December, including a special event, which is really cool. We'll get to that in a minute. But let's start off with Season 3. It says September 22nd. It is coming the same day as TU11, which notably is different from how Season 2 went down. When C Season 2 happened, TU10 released, and then a week later is when Season 2 started. Then they pitched at the start of Warlords when Seasons first came out. They said that Seasons will run three months, then you'll have a week in between, and then another one will start. So there is something significant to take note of when you think about how Season 3 is starting the exact same day. But we'll come back to that all in a little bit. So it says, hunt down the BTSU leader, new gear, weapons, and apparel, new events and obviously the prime target there you can see in the picture is Barden Schaefer which is exactly what the leaks told us way back in the TU-10 PTS basically confirming everything in there was true including the summit mode which is the next thing on there also releasing obviously on September 22nd with TU-11 uh, a new PVE mode 100 floors of high replayability can you reach the top we know all about that already from the PTS here's where it gets interesting season 4 is Fei Lao just again like the leak said and that basically confirms the huge climactic event at the end of season 4 that the leaks told us about which is that Fei kills the president and then blames it on the division and tells the entire country that the division has disavowed their, you know, sworn duty to carry out the orders of the president, and we have now disavowed and betrayed our country. And I made an entire video on that before, I think even multiple, talking about, you know, what the, the implications of that, both lore-wise and as far as what that brings for the next type of content in the game, whether it's going to be a continuation of this game or something else. But again, we'll get back to that in just a second. The last thing on the roadmap that is really exciting is Codename Nightmare. It's some sort of special event that's coming this winter, likely alongside Season 4, because if you've noticed the track record so far, Every season has some other content associated with it so that it doesn't just come by itself. Season 1 came with, obviously, Warlords, which is huge. Season 2 came with the new raid. Season 3 is coming with Summit, so now Season 4 will come with this special event, codenamed Nightmare. It's at Kenley College, which is really interesting. That's clearly a spot that hasn't been, you know, the center of attention or really used for anything in a long time. And so I think there's a potential that after this event is over, Kenley could turn into an all-new game mode that's wholly, you know, redesigned and repurposed. I remember that one of the devs teased that Summit wasn't the only type of replayable content they were working on, and so it's possible that Kenley turns into something like like the summit as well but for this special event what does it mean probably the most likely option is that it's something with you know hunter related um if you remember the leak season three is actually going to have a hunter in the final mission to track down barden schaefer so there is more hunter tie-ins starting to happen in the game we have the memento exotic with tu11 coming that's hunter themed we have that hunter tied to the season three story and so i think this special event could certainly tie in hunters as well as to what that specific activity would be i don't really know what could be kind of cool is to keep the same theme of with investigations where you're kind of going around figuring out what happened but tie in some of that division one survival stuff where when you get close to the extractions you know your hud and your screen start to blur out you see all these agents that have been murdered with axes still hanging in them and blood everywhere that would be something really cool if you were to have to go around kenley at night and try and find out where these hunters are you get ambushed that could be really cool what i've seen some other people saying and what i've you know hinted out myself is that it could be zombie related i know a lot of people really dislike the idea of zombies in this game and if you do that's fine it's super unlikely to ever happen i think it could be pretty cool to have some you know massive hordes of like one-shot zombies that are coming at you and you have to set up defenses use your you know all your skills to your advantage pretty much everything to survive that could be really cool i understand not everyone wants that that's okay um so yeah there's definitely some options for what this codename nightmare event could be but it's also really cool that we're just getting a special event a seasonal event i mean I don't think it's really going to be tied to like Christmas stuff at all, but it is specifically a winter special event. I don't think in Division's history we've ever really had content tied to a, you know, seasonal or, or a limited time event. I mean, we've certainly had 
apparel stuff. We had apparel stuff for, you know, the winter and Christmas theme in Division 1, as well as Division 2. We had the Slayer gun come out last year, the Snowball gun. So they've done seasonal stuff before, but I don't think they've ever done any type of limited time event or content. So this is something really cool that's coming to the game that we can experience, because other games in the same genre, like Destiny, or some more traditional MMOs, like WoW, definitely do this type of limited stuff. And it's pretty fun. It can be something that brings the community together and generates some hype. So if that, if this uh, Codename Nightmare can do that for Division 2, then I'm all for it. But let's circle back around to the season's timeline and really what that sets up for the future of the franchise. Why would season 3 release the same day as T11 when they had previously skipped weeks in between seasons 1 and 2 like I was mentioning and they stated that seasons are built in to have breaks in between. I believe it's because they're trying to hit a deadline. Let's take a look at the calendar here. If season 3 remains 3 months long like the first two seasons, which I wouldn't see why it wouldn't at this point, it starts September 22nd, that ends it on December 15th, and season 4 is slated to start in December. I don't think that they want to start season 4 December 22nd, which would be a week after the 15th, right before Christmas. I don't think they want to do that, so I'm imagining season 4 will start the exact same day that season 3 ends, and that's on December 15th as well, and that takes it, if it's three months long like the other ones, straight to March 9th. Why is March significant? Well, Warlords launched on March 3rd, and Division 2 launched on March 15th, or March 12th if you had the uh, special edition, and so March 9th would be right in the ideal launch or announcement window that Division and, you know, Ubisoft Massive have always stuck to. And if the prime target of Fei Lau, if her, you know, main mission comes out roughly two months or a little more into the season like it has previously, then that puts us at experiencing this event with the president in the first half of February, or, you know, close to the beginning or the first half, which is exactly when Warlords was announced back at the beginning of 2020. And if you remember then, episode 3 uh, led us directly into Warlords with both the story as well as, you know, the timing. It was very close in between. So season 4 could lead us directly into what? That's the big question. I think there are three options for what this, you know, climactic event of the president dying and the season 4 culmination leads us to. And those are, either we're going to get an expansion to that they will announce immediately after the Fey mission launches, and it'll, you know, we hear about it at the beginning of February, and it comes out right on March 9th, right when Season 4 ends, or maybe a week after, somewhere in there. That's one option. Or they're going to announce that content and support for this game is going to slow down, very similarly to what happened with Division 1 in Year 3, and they announced Division 3 right there on the spot. I think this is honestly just as legitimate of an option as an expansion number 2. Or the third option is they do both. Maybe not at the same time, but maybe they announce the expansion too. And then in June at, you know, the regular E3 time, whether or not it's actually taking place in person or not, they announce Division 3 and then that comes in 2022. Or it could also be coming in 2023 and so they wait a year, something with that. But I think those are our three options. Either they're going to announce Expansion 2, Division 3, or both. And to the people who are saying that content on this game is stopping and they're going to stop support and shut down Massive, that's clearly not going to happen. I think if anything, if out of everything that Ubisoft Forward showed us for this game yesterday, it's that they clearly have a plan in place and they have stuff coming in the future. Why would they put out further seasons and a free special event in the winter if they were just planning on stopping support on the game? That doesn't make any sense financially. So there is something coming in the future. The question simply is, what is it? So let's discuss that. I think when I made my videos on this topic a few months ago when the leaks first came out, I was definitely more leaning towards, you know, hoping but also thinking that Division 3 was more likely to be announced other than an expansion 2. I think now though that the evidence is definitely stacking a bit more for an expansion number 2 and that's simply because of the timing, right? How, you know, how identical that is to what happened in year 1 if that Fey mission happens right at the beginning of February. They can now see expansion the day after on the usual stay of the game day of Wednesday, and then a month later it launches just like what happened with Warlords and Episode 3. I think that's an incredibly likely thing that could happen, and it could deal directly with the fallout of that mission and, you know, what that implies for the future. Here's what I really don't want to happen. And let me say first that I would prefer they announce Division 3 and just, you know, see support on Division 2, except for some of these smaller updates like what happened with Division 1. Um, and that's just because I don't I don't particularly like Division 2's gameplay in PvP. I would much rather they take a third crack at it in a Division 3 with the new generation of consoles. And I am going to talk about this more in another video, but that would be my preferred thing, is that Division 3 is announced and they stop support on Division 2 for the most part. 
But if they are going to announce a expansion too, here's what I really hope they do. I hope they don't take the entirety of the Rogue versus SHD storyline in one expansion for Division 2, which is likely, you know, not the end of the franchise. I definitely think even if they do an expansion too, a Division 3 is coming at some point down the line. There's a lot of evidence about it. A lot of YouTubers and people online have been, you know, spraying some rumors about it over the last few weeks. I mean, there's there's just too much evidence. I'm like 80 to 90% sure at this point that a Division 3 is coming. Just the question is, will it be after the events that we're seeing right now or after a whole nother expansion for Division 2. So ideally, if an expansion 2 is coming, what I would like to see happen is that the storyline of that and the campaign focuses around the SHD agents, you know, us, the players, our, our characters, clearing our name of this unwanted rogue status for supposedly killing the president, which we didn't do. Faye did it. So... I could see the expansion going down where the storyline is us trying to clear our name, and at the end, we take down Fei Lao and reclaim our title as SHD agents. What then Division 3 could do, what that would leave room for it to do, would be to really drive home that faction war of, like, between the rogues and the SHD. You start up the game and you get to choose which side you're on, and there's whole different campaigns. That would be really cool. Again, I'm going to talk about that more in another video, but I wouldn't want this expansion to, you know, this potential one, to take up the entirety of that storyline and leave no more room for, you know, further growth on that subject. I really wouldn't want them to make it, you know, we're both clearing our name of the rogue status and we deal with all the rogues in one fell swoop. I would really want them to stretch that out a bit so that it could also be the topic for Division 3 because I think if that was the, you know, the primary drive of Division 3, the campaign and everything was the rogues versus the SHD, that would be very appealing to both players who have left Division in the past as well as potentially new ones who just want a good campaign and a good storyline for this game because I think that would make an awesome, you know, full full game campaign, a full, you know, 16 however many missions, it could make a really good one. And so I think if this expansion 2 is happening, it really needs to tread lightly on how far it goes into the subject because it could make some very awesome content for Division 3 and the future of the franchise. And I wish I could sit here and, and place a bet on what is going to happen on March 9th of 2021, but I honestly can't. I honestly cannot tell you in good faith if I think an expansion 2 or Division 3 announcement is coming or both, you know. Uh, again, I would prefer it's just Division 3, and then the Year 3 focus of Division 2 is just maybe adding, you know, a few more legendary missions, like what they did with uh, Division 1 and 1.8.2 and 1.8.3, but I don't know if that's the route they're going to go. They could go the Destiny model and release two full expansions for the game before the next sequel comes out. I think that's entirely possible, and so I don't want to sit here and say that I think it's going to be Div 3 when I honestly can't say that, you know, wholeheartedly. Um, we could very well see an expansion too. And so if that's the case, again, I just hope it doesn't take the entirety of that rogue storyline that's so rich and so compelling that could make for awesome, awesome Div 3 content. All right, guys. Well, I think that wraps up the entirety of what I wanted to discuss today regarding that roadmap and what that means for the future. This is really exciting stuff. I mean, now that we know that Fei Lao is the target for season four, it just practically confirms that that ending is going to happen and that something big is coming in 2021 and potentially 2022 and beyond. It's all really exciting. So definitely keep your uh, keep your eyes open over the next few months. I think we could see some more stuff leak, some more rumors come out, and there's a lot of you know exciting potentials that could happen now with next gen. It's really exciting to think about, honestly. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you can be updated every time I upload. Head down the comments and let me know if you guys want to see another division 3 video i've done one in the past the one that was really popular was my dream for the division 3 that i did last year on christmas it's the pin video on the channel it's got you know i think 15,000 views a lot of you guys really like that i still get comments on it to this day and i'm thinking of doing a division 3 reimagine now that we know what's happening with the ending of season 4 and where that leads us i would really like to do another one kind of with the basis of that storyline in mind so if you guys want to see that let me know in the comments and i will make that my next video in these next few days um yeah i'd really love to do it so hopefully if you guys want to see it i will 100 percent do that and it should be really fun so thanks everyone also let me know your thoughts on this stuff what you think is going to come next march and you know what this uh ending of season four brings us i'm curious to hear what you guys have to say about it have a wonderful day and until the next one guys rogue gold out